pretty cool with that, huh? I like guns. I mean, I like guns. I like also being wise about guns. So I, I'm sort of split on this issue. There's a lot of issues that come up with smart guns. So this technology is very intelligent. There's, there's a lot out there that uses a fingerprint. Then there's this one that uses a chip inside of the ring done by iGun Technologies. That guy is uh, Jonathan Mossberg, third generation gun maker. Great gun, quality made. But the huge issue comes out of a law in New Jersey that's controversial that was done in 2002. A really idiotic law that says that if any shop owner for guns in the state of New Jersey uh, sells a smart gun at any one particular time, then they must always sell smart guns and only smart guns. The inventory has to only be smart guns. And it's, what, it's but what ridiculous. Was there, it sounds like there's some political motivation. There are lots it. of political motivation. It was designed and intended to be an incentive to sell smart guns, but instead it backfired. Oh. NRA, gun owners are saying, wait a minute, don't screw with our guns. We like them the way they are. We want to have the decision and not have the government tell us we have to have a smart gun. So that slowed all this down. Now, Ron Conway, a venture capitalist in uh, Silicon Valley that has done quite well with Facebook and another, another, a number of investments, he's saying, I think there's a giant market right now for people who aren't like me, who, who aren't comfortable with guns, but if for the fact you could put in a technology that says your kids couldn't fire these, someone gets into your house, gets a hold of your gun, they can't fire it and use it against but you. There's also fingerprints, he, too. It can yeah, be activated. Right, different technologies. About yeah. six manufacture this. But this guy yeah. really believes there's an enormous market for what are called fencers, people who would never have a gun because they're a little bit shy of the safety oh, aspects right. of it. That's interesting. And that so that's because a smart of our gun iPhones, aspect. yeah. How much and, are they, by the way? You're going to add about $300 plus to each gun. Okay. So about $300 to $500 I think though, each gun. One of the, the problems, however, is sort of like, okay, you've got the gun, someone breaks into your house, and now you've got to find the ring. You better have it oh, on, right? Man, you know, did I walk? I was in a sink, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, and, and, and then you know, what, if you're, the, what if it's fingerprints and you're, you're sweaty because you're, you're, you're in this caught off guard and you get. Point. And will it still work? Well, you know, a lot of people have complaints about the fact of the matter is the one with the ring is pretty solid. So long as you've got the ring you've on, you've got to have that ring. You've got to have the ring, and you've got to be very responsible responsible about where you put the ring. So, it, and it also, the ring could be used for other devices, and that's what his patent is No, what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take that picture of you holding a shotgun and post yeah. it outside my house. I'm <laughs> going to pull out that ADT. I'll AD, your bulldog. Yeah, forget about that, you know, there the ADT yeah. thing. I'm going to put a picture. There it is. There I'm goes. taking it right there. That's it. I'm putting that in front of the house, and we'll you never have like, a problem. You look like James Bond. Thank Good you. stuff, man. Thanks. <laughs>